Hello everyone, I was asked to show you how I weave in ends when I'm knitting socks. From toe up, adding afterthought heel in the contrast colors. So first things first, once I finish knitting, I finish uh, knitting afterthought heel on the screen in the corner, press that I to check the tutorial how to insert afterthought heel to cut the yarn, not to have a waste yarn over there, just to cut the yarn, that's how I do it. I do Kitchener stitch and then I'm going on the wrong side and I'm duplicate the stitch. I think that's how you call it. So now we're on the wrong side. I'll try to do duplicate. I try not to do it on the top of the heel, slightly lower so it doesn't give that a bulk. So basically I just follow uh, the yarn that goes into those pearl bumps and it looks like a horseshoe each time. So Hopefully you can see it. And what I like to do, I like to always have enough yarn to go fully across. So now it's like Omega sign also. In Greek, I think. Or shoe. Or, or horse shoe, isn't it? I don't pull too much because you want this to be a flexible fabric, if I can say it that way. Otherwise, probably I would gather it and it will be stiff. That's the, that's the word. I hope I'm using it right. I'll try to go fully till the end and I like to then pull the yarn through maybe two pearl bumps over here on the side, pull it and cut the yarn. Obviously I will do the same thing in the toe so I'm going to leave it for now and in the toe connecting to the foot section. If you use contrast color, you will have two strands over here that you need to wave in ends. Otherwise, if you're using one color from the toe to the foot, you will not have anything over here. A little loop like this. And it's way easier to pull it through. Yeah, so check it out if you have never tried that. If this strand is on the right, coming out from the right, I'm going into the left and that one that comes to the left, I'll try to wave in to the right. And for me, I think that's enough if I get one, two, three kind of tops, heels over here. Maybe let's go slightly farther away from here so we don't have such a big bulk of... yarn
afterthoughts heel section. So on one side we are going to have one strand which it comes from the body. On the other side another strand that, that that also comes from the body because if you don't know when you do afterthought heel you before you put the heel you cut the yarn in the middle and you unravel one side and another side and that's what you end up with and on this side we have an extra strand and this is the yarn that we attached to insert a heel so we have two and one it is quite handy to have a yarn over here because if you stretch it and you see that you have some holes you can kind of go back and fix it a little bit you may have some loose uh, stitches as you can see on this side i'm kind of happy hopefully you can see it i'm kind of happy with the results they look solid i could probably flip it over and double check but <laughs> who does that <laughs> um well not me so i'll just weave in as normal hopefully i wasn't so perfect on the other side the gaps it's only as you may see maybe over here that hole that you can see over here is because i had a loose stitch so it looks pretty good on this side too I still have another sock to do, so maybe I'll go back and so maybe I will check. Maybe it's not so nice on the other one. Yeah, so everything for me looks quite good. So I will just try to get to the spot that I feel that the little gap is. And basically, as you would anyway, wave in ends, I'll try to do it through that section. So hopefully you can see it. And again, we shouldn't pull it harder because then we make another hole. Okay, so when you wave in, just remember don't pull too hard it's just that the strand of the yarn is just that it just hangs there it doesn't have to do anything because it also has to work with the rest of the sock when we're putting it in and i always say that that i like two inches negative ease on my socks when they're in stockinette stitch so they do stretch so this is how it looks now if you have any questions pause and write down below gentle don't pull more because we make we can make even bigger holes by just putting it in lovely and i can now skip below so what i'll do I will just go two down. Now I'm not doing the where I want to go. Go through here. Just so now, as you may notice, I haven't been doing horseshoe shapes. I was just doing kind of waves to get to the spot where I want to. B. And the yarn comes here, so I'm trying to go maybe under the pearl bumps. Lovely. And you could see this is maybe an area may cause troubles. So I'll just turn around over here. And now we're going up the ladder. So under two pearl pearl bumps under another two and now let's see hopefully you can see it I would love to go through this pearl and this pearl to wrap it up nicely so let's see will I be able to get here lovely Mm -hmm. 
and you see when I'm stretching and it's way better so I have a few to do but let me show you now from the outside and over here from the outside too well, I hope it helped and you enjoyed watching this video. Any questions, write down below. Subscribe, like for more knitting inspirations. Until the next one. Bye!